Greetings and salutations, gamers. This is Laws85 with episode 26 of Final Fantasy. Of Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster Version for the PS3. In episode 25, we went through Makalania Woods and fought a Spirit Spirit More Fiend and found a um found a um uh, <clears throat> a spear with Jekt in it. But anyway, now that we're done, we're, we're all rested up. I did a little uh, working on some of my characters and uh, everything. So, uh, there's a couple little things I do want to change up here real quick. Um, it is for an upcoming boss battle. Uh, for my grinding, I had done some um, uh, updating on my equipment to deal with a few things. Uh, because it was... Uh, for the for this particular for this particular area, it would have been great. Ah, there we go. So, like I said, for this upcoming boss battle, it is great to have a lightning-based uh, weapon because yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, we picked up a, a, a an Elbed Primer right over there. I can't get to that chest because class goes in the way, but I think that's something we get later on in the game on, on, a, on a come through. Uh, I did actually just trigger in the um, <clears throat> little grinding I did in this general area. I did trigger a little cutscene. Uh, it's basically Clasco debating if he wants to be a knight or not. Lady Yuna, ah. oh, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Well, we must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. Yeah, sure you will. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hmm? That was your line. <laughs> Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! Ah... Oh no! All right, so we just basically run to the end here, right to the red marker. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna lie, guys, this was gonna be a quick run right into another dramatical scene. Stand back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yuna's like, wait. Yeah. Huh? The hell's going on? Riku! To the Dandana, who we could wreck! Oh boy. Oh joy, this is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> we bunal with magic. Hey, um, you came, oh no! Translation? He's gonna use an anti magic field on us! God bless! As you can see, now that we've actually spoken to an Albert, we understand. If you, you can pretty much piece together exactly what he's saying. <clears throat> Alrighty then, so basically what's gonna happen right here is. That little thing flying in the air negates all magic and summons, so when you can't, it, it prevents you. Except killing magic. It, 
does healing magic. It, it doesn't protect, it doesn't stop, it only stops black magic. So, um, there are two strategies you can go into doing this. First and foremost, ooh, yeah. Okay, I guess it does block all magic. <laughs> We're gonna do a little cheering. There's two strategies. First strategy is you can have, uh, um, <coughs> Waka take out the uh, negator, but there, it, that's one little problem with that. Uh, yeah. And it has a whopping, a large amount. All right, so we're gonna do another cheer. The negator, it, I think it has what a thousand HP, but in the most part, uh, everything else. Okay, that's one thing you gotta worry about is the Gatling gun. It does a little bit of amount of damage, but it's not terribly too much. But if you take out the negator, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing a cheer for the moment. Just to boost up Arn, because he's gonna be a power here hitter right here. Gatling gun again. <clears throat> if you take out the negator, um. Okay, first strategy, this is a strategy I'm going to pr pr probably work on here a good bit, is the uh, all-out physical attacking strategy. <coughs> and what this is going to do is that I'm going to completely ignore the negator for the most part, and uh, just straight up wail on it. Uh, it. It will take it a good bit of time. You know, I'm going to do one more cheer just so I can get uh, Arn into it. But if you do the negator, but it, uh, but if you do attack the negator, as you see, it's just a thousand HP. Um, it will. Uh, <clears throat> there is a very very bad bad uh, attack it will do, and it will hurt like Dickens. Uh, it's called Mana Beam, so I, I prefer not to deal with it. I mean, if it comes down to it, I'll throw a couple of high potions here and there. And let's see, Tannis is doing a bit more than Waka, so if it comes down to it... Damn, this thing is just coming way too damn quick! Okay, Waka, item! High potion on yourself. Arn, we're gonna keep you just wailing on it. Oh, critical! Go love when those criticals happen. Waka, you gonna do another item? High potion on Arn? Man, I think I need to stock up some high potions because this is gonna get expensive on high potions. And then it's just gonna keep doing a Gatling gun over and over again. Um, come on, can I do another critical? Yes! <laughs> this is not very, this is not a very hard and pain, powerful fight, but uh... If you don't come into the battle prepared, it will be, ooh, only 200, really? Alright. Waka, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do another potion on Titus here, because I'm trying to serve high potions for later on. <clears throat> Man, really? Alright, as long as it keeps doing. Iron keeps popping it for that much. Gonna get another Gatling gun here. And wow, he's just hitting everybody now. There's nobody missing. Titus. Yeah, oh, not a critical there. We're gonna do another item for Arn. Yeah, I yeah, did use another high potion. Come on! I just don't like how it's getting so many damn turns. 
Alright, this strategy is not too bad. And it's gonna get another shot in before I can get Arn to come in and do anything I've wanted him to. Alright, Arn, I am gonna do a power break, see if that does anything. Immune. Lovely. Alrighty then, so I'm going to do this. I am going to high potion on Titus because he's getting there kind of low. Waka, we're going to do uh, a potion on Orin just to keep him fairly healthy. It won't keep him totally up, but I think for the most part is <clears throat> like, yeah. It's down to 3,000. I'll put it down. And see, this is the only thing I can't use white magic, so I can't use taste on, like, Orn or anybody. Unless I take out the negator, which I don't want to do that. But you know what? You know what? I'm half tempted to. Oh dear. Yeah, a couple explosions coming away. High potion! Orin! Twelve hundred. Come on, critical it! Critic! Ah, damn it! Ooh, Waka's gonna get filled if he doesn't. Ow, ow! Okay. And these two are going to finish it out. I could have probably put a few couple others in, which I sh probably should have just for the experience, but, uh, yeah. And with the, uh, Owlbeds mocking, I pretty much destroyed. They're going to run and they're going to cower and run and make idle threats. Whew. Yeah, that would have been nice to have Yuna in there, because there's another little spell I wanted to get, but I wasn't going to worry about it. Really? That's all I'm going to get out of that? Gay. Okay. My lady. All he does is like, my lady, come along. Riku! I'm done with run. Extra guardian of Yuna. Rika? Yuna kva? Fafem Kintran, Krak Kva! Tu Drek ye moha, Kegden! I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bed? Why? Uh, well, uh. Uh oh. Because I'm out bed. And that was my brother. You knew? Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albed, a heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. But you Albed used the forbidden machina. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use machina. You got proof? Show me proof. It's in Yevon's teaching. Oh, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this, Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Well, then you tell me. Where did sin come from, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevon, and that's all you can come up with. But... That doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know. Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! 
We're not using that, are we? Wait. Sir Aron isn't out there too, is he? Come on, Waka. What? I mean, getting angry just because you found out Riku's in our bed. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean... Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the our bed, but... I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. No. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the our bed. Let him go. Give him time to think. I'm sorry. You've done nothing to apologize for. All right, let's ride! You sure you know how to drive this? <laughs> Kimari Better than yep. Kimari does. Huh. I thought it usually gives you the option to t who you get to ride with. I, I, I guess not. But, yeah, so, there goes Waka's belief in Yevon. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all. <sighs> Thank you. So we get to ride with Lulu. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's... fun to be with. <laughs> that all? <sighs> well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon. Or, you know, something like that. Well, exactly. there's more to it than that. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother, Chaku. Oh, he used a Machina weapon, right? And got killed by Sin. Killed by my old man. Damn you, Jack. What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become Sin ever? I can't say that I know, but why? Just a thought. Mm. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Uh, so no one really knows what it is. Exactly. There's no need to know, <laughs> so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. Yep. No sin, no anguish, no wars. Alrighty then. So, as I was trying to say about Waka, um, Waka, he pretty much gives me the uh, firm beliefs of what a hardcore religious person is always the teachings always this always that it's never thinking for yourself you either follow the rules or not that's all i'm gonna touch on religion from here on out so we welcome to the okay ah very nice so welcome to lake makalania and there in the distance, as you can see, is the Makalania Temple. It's another temple. So you know what's coming up soon. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. See, you see here, yeah, we are going to have a little issue. And what kind of issue? Well, you'll find out here in just a moment. Well, it'll happen next up, so guaranteed. Halt! The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. A, an all bed? A guardian? Preposterous. I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. And that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well. As you see, Waka. Come on, Waka. Talk to me. 
stuck. Nope. Okay, fine. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, after taking on that little fight, this is a perfect spot to stop. A nice little video, because the next video, or the next episode, will be a fairly lengthy one. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm Mr. Laws, Mr. The Laws 85. This has been episode 26 of Let's Play Final Fantasy X, the HD Remastered version for the PS3. I'll see y'all next time.